Hi everyone, it's Noelle from Scrap Paper Art and I have another quick video to uh, share with you. Um, as you can see, I've been a busy little girl today. No, these are not flat jelly beans. They are um, enamel dots. Um, today's the first day that uh, I've had any energy and so in between house cleaning I have to get in some playtime. So this is what I've been doing. Um, there's tons of videos on uh, YouTube all about it. They are enamel dots, homemade enamel dots made with pony beads. Um, I was laid up over the weekend and I sent hubby out to go get me some uh, to try and find a pack of pony beads from my local dollar store and he found a couple of packs and brought them home. So this is what I've been doing. Um, I'm just going to give you the basic on how to do it. Um, there's several videos out there on YouTube um, explaining. So um, it's more or less, it's very simple, it's very easy. Um, it's more or less um, trial and error depending on the type of oven that you have and the temperature in which to set it. Um, some people have said they put it at 400. I've heard uh, some say 450. Um, there's going to be variation if you have a gas or electric stove. So basically all you do is you stack your pony beads up um, flat side, you know, with the hole sticking up, and you kind of paste them probably about maybe an inch, inch and a half apart, and then um, lay them on parchment paper, or if you have a sill pat on a cookie sheet. Um, it dep You really need a flat cookie sheet. My kind of cookie sheet has been very loved and very well used, so it kind of buckles a little bit, and I think that's why some of mine turned out um, wonky, but I'm not worried about it like I said, for $2, and this is what I have to work with, I can live with that. And that's all you do. You just stick it in the oven, and it melts very fast because they're tiny. Um, so you probably want to watch it. I would say at about the five-minute point, you need to um, check them, and then kind of just stand there um and uh, watch watch them from that point on because they do burn and they will burn very fast. Um, I did a batch, the last batch that I did, I did yellows and greens and oranges and I left them in just a tad too long and the oranges turned brown. So that could be a good thing. Eh, depends on what you want. But that's it. Um, dollar store pony beads, an oven, cookie sheet, parchment paper, and you're good to go. Look at all that yumminess. All right, you guys. Uh